Ghost Mail Episode 12, Echoes of the Abyss, The Haunting Tale of Walgren Lake. In the heart of the Nebraskan Plains, where the horizon stretches endlessly and the silence is as vast as the sky, lies Walgren Lake. Its placid surface belies the secrets lurking beneath. For generations, locals whispered tales of the Walgren Lake monster, a creature of legend said to dwell in the murky depths, its presence felt but rarely seen. Among those who dared to venture near the lake was Sarah, a young woman with an unyielding curiosity and a penchant for unraveling mysteries. Drawn by the allure of the unknown, she embarked on a journey to uncover the truth behind the whispered stories. Sarah's research led her to a small, secluded town nestled on the shores of Walgren Lake. There she met an old fisherman named Samuel, whose weathered face bore the weight of years spent on the water. Intrigued by Sarah's quest, Samuel agreed to share his tales of the lake. As the fire crackled in the hearth of Samuel's cabin, he recounted the legend of the Walgren Lake monster. They say it's been here longer than anyone can remember, he began, his voice low and grave. Some claim it's a remnant of prehistoric times, a creature untouched by the passage of centuries. Sarah listened intently as Samuel described encounters with the creature, of boats capsized by unseen forces, of eerie echoes reverberating beneath the surface, and of shadows lurking in the depths. Determined to uncover the truth, Sarah set out to explore the lake herself. Armed with a small boat and a sense of trepidation, she ventured into the mist-shrouded waters as twilight descended. The lake was eerily still, the only sound the gentle lapping of waves against the boat's hull. As Sarah rode deeper into the darkness, a chill crept into her bones, and she felt as though unseen eyes were watching her every move. Suddenly, a low rumble echoed across the water, sending shivers down Sarah's spine. She froze, straining to pierce the veil of darkness that enveloped the lake. Then, from the depths below, a shadowy figure emerged, a monstrous shape with glowing eyes that pierced the night. Heart pounding, Sarah watched in horror as the creature circled her boat, its presence casting a pall of dread over the lake. She tried to flee but the creature's icy grip held her fast, dragging her down into the abyss below. As Sarah descended into the darkness, she felt a sense of suffocating dread enveloping her. The water seemed to press in on her from all sides, its icy embrace threatening to consume her entirely. Amidst the darkness, Sarah's mind raced with fear and confusion. What was this creature that lurked beneath the surface? Was it a remnant of a forgotten time, or something far more sinister? Suddenly, a voice echoed in Sarah's mind, a voice filled with malice and ancient rage. It spoke of pain and suffering, of souls lost to the depths of the lake for all eternity. And as Sarah listened, she realized with horror that the creature was not just a physical presence, but a manifestation of pure evil itself. With every passing moment, Sarah's struggle became more desperate. The creature's grip tightened around her, its cold, clammy hands dragging her further into the abyss. She could feel its malevolent energy seeping into her very soul, filling her with a terror beyond comprehension. But even in the face of unimaginable horror, Sarah refused to surrender. With a strength born of desperation, she fought against the creature's grasp, feeling her nails dig into its slimy flesh as she struggled to break free. Each movement was a battle against the suffocating weight of the water, against the relentless pull of the abyss. In the depths of her terror, Sarah summoned every ounce of willpower, every last shred of determination. With a primal scream echoing through the watery depths, she pushed herself to her limits, clawing her way towards the surface with a ferocity that bordered on madness. And then, finally, with a burst of adrenaline-fueled effort, Sarah broke free from the creature's clutches. She emerged from the water gasping for air, her lungs burning with the need for oxygen, her entire body trembling with exhaustion and fear. But her ordeal was far from over. As she looked out across the lake, her eyes widened in horror at the sight before her. The darkness that had once seemed confined to the depths now stretched out like tendrils of black smoke, reaching towards the shore with a hunger that could never be satisfied. Sarah could feel its malevolent energy pulsing through the water, radiating from the depths like a tangible force of evil. It seemed to beckon to her, to call out with a voice that chilled her to the bone. In that moment, Sarah realized that the true horror of Walgren Lake was not just the creature that dwelled within its depths, but the darkness that lurked within its very soul. It was a darkness that fed on fear and despair, that thrived on the suffering of those who dared to venture too close. With a sinking feeling in her heart, Sarah knew that she could not escape the grasp of the darkness. 
It was a force beyond her control, beyond her understanding, a force that would consume her body and soul if she did not find a way to fight back. But as she stood on the shore, trembling with exhaustion and fear, Sarah also knew that she could not give up. She had faced the depths of the abyss and emerged stronger for it, and she would not let the darkness of Walgren Lake claim her without a fight. With a fierce determination burning in her eyes, Sarah took a step forward, ready to confront the darkness head on. Whatever lay ahead, whatever horrors awaited her in the depths of the lake, she would face them with courage and defiance. For she was Sarah, and she would not be defeated. But as she stood on the shore, her heart pounding in her chest, a sense of foreboding washed over her. She had faced the creature that lurked within the depths, but she could sense that something far more sinister lay in wait. As Sarah scanned the shoreline, her eyes caught glimpses of twisted shapes moving in the darkness. Shadows danced on the edge of her vision, whispering malevolent promises of pain and torment. A cold sweat broke out on Sarah's brow as she realized that she was not alone. The darkness that enveloped Walgren Lake was alive with unseen horrors, creatures that thrived on the fear and despair of those who dared to cross their path. With a sinking feeling in her heart, Sarah realized that the true horror of Walgren Lake was not just the creature that dwelled within its depths, but the darkness that lurked within the hearts of men. It was a darkness that fed on fear and ignorance, consuming all who dared to venture too close. And as she stood on the shore, surrounded by the oppressive weight of the unknown, Sarah knew that she was facing a battle not just for her own survival, but for the very soul of Walgren Lake itself. To this day, locals whisper of Sarah's fate, and the chilling echoes of her demise linger on the winds that sweep across Walgren Lake. But amidst the whispers and the legends, one thing remains clear. Sarah's encounter with the lake monster was just the beginning of a horror that would haunt the town of Walgren for generations to come. For in the depths of the abyss, something ancient and malevolent stirs, a force beyond human comprehension, waiting patiently for the day when it will rise once more to claim its rightful place as the true master of Walgren Lake. And though the townsfolk may try to forget, and the lake may appear calm and still on the surface, the darkness that lies beneath can never truly be extinguished. And as long as Walgren Lake exists, so too will the echoes of the abyss, a reminder of the terrifying truth that some mysteries are best left undisturbed. Hey there! If you have any experience with real-life encounter with ghost, paranormal, horror, and or any supernatural events, please share it with us at ghostmail.xoxogossiplips at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.